Hello and welcome back. In this lesson we're going to look at switch statements. Um, again, a switch statement would be considered a close cousin of the if statement which we've done already. Uh, our learning outcomes here are one to how we write the syntax correctly uh, for the switch statement and secondly actually what it is and how it works. Uh, if we could say here the switch statement is a control statement that handles multiple selections by passing that control into one of the case statements within its body. Okay, w what does that look like? Let's have a look at the, the syntax here. Uh, as you can see here I wrote a switch statement okay and a set of parentheses and I have an opening brace and a closing brace. Here I have what I want evaluated. This could be a variable or some piece of data. And it will evaluate that against the case here. So you can see here I have case Damien. So in the case of an if statement I had, is name equal to Damien? Okay. And if so, do this or do that. But with a switch statement, I just put in the variable here. And it will evaluate that against the case here. Uh, if that is matched, well then it will execute this piece of code, okay, and we have a break statement at the end of each case. So we can have multiple cases here, and again, whatever the uh, variable evaluates to as true, it will execute that piece of code. So uh, the best way to do it is to write a switch statement, and let's look at an action. So let's pop over to the code. Right, so here we are in the code. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the example here, my name. Um, so I'll declare a string. Um, I'll call it my name. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to set it to anything. I'm just going to uh, I, I'm going to initialize it by, from a console read line. Um, so I'll do uh, my name. Uh, so um, first of all, I'll ask the question. Uh, so I'll. I'll have a, 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 a console um, a dot right line, and I'll ask the question, uh, enter your name. Uh, name. Okay, when somebody answers their name, we want to collect that information off the uh, console, so I'll just give me some space here. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll put in uh, my name is going to be set to uh, uh, set to a console uh, dot read line. Okay. Uh, so uh, again, we would have done this in previous videos. Uh, my name is now holding the value of whatever is typed in on the uh, console. Okay, I want to do a switch. Okay, uh, so uh, um, a switch statement. So let's uh, I'll do the the uh, construct first. Uh, uh, so we have switch. Okay, I have a set of parentheses. I have an opening brace and a closing brace. Uh, in here, what I want to evaluate is my name. Okay, so the, uh, my name. So is my name? Uh, if we think back to this the. The if statement, if my name was, well then execute this code. Uh, with the switch statement, it's looking at the variable my name, but now we put in each case uh, it's to be evaluated against. So uh, I'll take case um, and I'll say, well, is it Damien? Okay, and this is terminated with a full call, huh? Okay, uh, again, if so. Uh, console dot right line, um, and what I want to do here is just write out uh, hello. Uh, hello. Okay, and we'll put in a brace. Okay, and I'll close that, and my name. Okay, and again, the case is closed off with a break. Now, okay, uh, so uh, if uh, if what's typed in, if my name, again, if I type in Damien, well then this code is going to be executed. Again, uh, let's say I put in another one, in another case, I'm just going to copy this, just say me typing um, here. Um, Okay, and if that's uh, Paul, okay, well then it's going to say hello, 
Paul, I can put in another case. Okay, I can put in um, uh, Kevin. Okay, so you can see there, that, uh, it's, so again, depending on what it's going to say, hello. Uh, the last one, uh, it's like, uh, works similar to the way the else uh, would um, in an if statement. And it's the default. Okay, what's going to happen if nothing is taken? Again, I don't have to put anything for default there. And I'm just going to put a console right line here. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, console right line uh, is just saying, who are you? Who are you? Okay. And again, the console <coughs> right line, or the default will have a break as well. Okay. So there you can see the switch statement in its entirety. Again, whatever I type in the console, if I type in Damien, but then it's going to go through the cases and see, well, it's Damien, and then it will execute this piece of code. If I typed in Paul, it will skip Damien, check the next case, which is Paul, and then execute this piece of code. Okay, if none of the names are the same, it will just default to, to this one, and it will say, who are you? Okay, so let's try run this and see if we get the desired result. Um, so I'll compile the code now. And you can see there it's going to go put enter your name. Okay, if I put in Damien, okay, it will say hello Damien. Okay, but let's uh, run this again, but this time we'll put in uh, a name which isn't on the uh, one there. So if I put in Bill, as you can see, who are you? So it went down to the default to find out uh, and produce that piece of code. Uh, again, um, the, the, I'm often asked, uh, well, which should I use? Should I use the uh, if statement or the switch statement? Again, uh, this will come uh, with a little bit of experience. Again, one, uh, and you'll decide yourself, depending on the code or what you're writing it for, as to which one you'd use, whether it be an if or uh, a switch. Uh, you can also have a switch statement and nest an if statement inside it. Uh, we'll do an exercise later on with that. In it. Okay, thank you for your attention.